We're going to be coexisting with nature today. Got ourselves a nice colony of bald-faced hornets here. Probably hundreds of hornets in there. You can see them all squirming through that hole right there. I'm very lucky that these hornets are pretty docile compared to some other different species because I found this nest by accident yesterday, but it's been here for a long time. And although I'm hanging out pretty close to these guys right now, they're just carrying on with their hornet business, helping out the garden and the ecosystem around us. But I'm not trying to push my luck because I've been pushing my luck for the past week or so because I've been through here cutting my grass, weed whacking, and I was right next to this nest and didn't even know it was there until yesterday. A couple days ago, I brought the lawnmower through here, which means that I was about a foot away from this thing with my face and didn't even know it was there. And yesterday, doing a little weed whacking around the wood piles here. Got all the way through here, did everything in there, and then I got to about right here. And as I was weed whacking, I noticed there was hundreds of hornets flying in my face. And I ended up getting hurt pretty bad, but not from being stung. When the hornets were in my face, I dropped the weed whacker and decided to sprint, not realizing there's giant wood piles here, and ended up smashing my knee against it. So that was not fun but I did not get stung, not even once. Now, if I was dealing with creatures like the yellow jackets underground and I was weed whacking and they decided to come out and come after me, probably would have had a really bad day. There's a lot of people that'd be really quick to call an exterminator or get some sprays, come out here at night, take care of this colony, but I'm letting them stay. And here's why. First reason, I have a policy around here. If you're a bee, wasp, or hornet, you make a nest somewhere. As long as you don't bother me when I come by your nest, I'm not gonna bother you. And seeing as this colony has showed me mercy, coming inches from their nest multiple times with loud lawn care devices, something that would usually disturb most colonies and make them attack, and they didn't. And I need these guys around because of this, the garden. This is part of my pest control system here. We always talk about how important the pollinators are, but we don't talk about how important the carnivorous stinging insects are when it comes to pest control. When you get stuff like the cabbage moth caterpillars destroying your brassicas, these guys are going to be there to eat them. Any other garden pests, they're carnivorous. They want to feed their young, those meaty bugs. So they're going to be flying around taking care of that for you. And that's why even last year, I was letting yellow jacket nests in my garden stay. I just kind of stayed away from those areas and they didn't bug us. They didn't bug us. Another fun fact about the bald-faced hornet is many of these members of this colony are flying right at me, but going about their business. It's a fun fact that might not be a fact at all. It's probably not even true. Some people think that the bald face hornets can recognize faces. So if you disturb this nest once and you're just walking by another time and they see your face, they're going to remember you. I think we're giving them a little too much credit at this point. Their brains aren't that big. I don't think they remember you. But if they did, they'd realize that when I'm out here doing some lawn care, I'm not here to disturb them. And maybe that's why they've left me alone. You're usually not going to see these guys this low to the ground. Usually you're going to see their big basketball shaped paper nests up in trees. Being this low to the ground puts them at risk of predation. And you can see that something has been rummaging through this colony. It's been ripping the sides off. I'm guessing either a skunk or a raccoon trying to go in there to get the larva. So these hornets are working extra hard to repair that damage and create more brood. And one of them just did give me a warning. It flew out and it kind of buzzed around my face. So instead of confronting the hornet by swatting at it, where it can start releasing pheromones, telling the other hundreds to come out and take me out, I decided to calmly walk away. And that's going to be the plan around here. These will be gone in the fall. I don't need to come out here and exterminate them now. They're going to do their thing. The whole colony will be dead in the fall when we get a frost, except for the queen, who will go somewhere else and build another nest next year. So we're gonna let her do that because that is next year's pest control. In the meantime, 
we are not going to disturb these hornets because they hurt when they sting and there's a lot of them. So the purpose of this video is pretty much just to show we don't have to go destroy things that cause fear. All it takes is a little respect and being aware of your surroundings and realizing that we need them more than they need us. So there's really no reason to go around destroying something beneficial like that. Thanks for watching.